been preparing in, in Tampa, Florida with Yo Murphy, um, at Yo Murphy Performance. Obviously, I've been there since like January 2nd. Then obviously I had Senior Bowl and then went straight back there, training on, for this day. Terrific, it's good to have you back. Mm -hmm. We'll start our questions today with John Eads from Orange Fizz. Hey, Fatu, so you mentioned the Senior Bowl. Can you kind of run me through what that experience was like and what you kind of learned working with the NFL team that was there? Yeah, so uh, it was definitely a good experience going against the top dudes in the uh, country. Um, you know, some dudes you never played before, like West Coast dudes and everything. It was definitely a good, it was good experience. Uh, you meet a lot of new people and everything. Um, uh, the NFL coaches, uh, I feel like I had the advantage of getting NFL coaching firsthand. Um, what I will say is, like, everything goes fast. Like, I, I was out of football for, like, what, like two months? Two months, right? And then one day get the install, next day I'm in I'm in pads and I'm doing everything, team, indie, one on one, seven on seven. So it, it goes fast, but I feel like that was a good um that was good for me to get that early so I kinda know what is gonna happen going in. Thanks, Ifatu. Next we'll go to Stephen Bailey from two four seven sports. Hey Fatu, just to kinda of follow up on that, you know, was there anything that you heard at the Senior Bowl in conversations with, with teams that affected your training and maybe um, your mindset into what you wanted to, to show today? Um, what I heard at the Senior Bowl, uh, nah, there wasn't anything that really affected my training that I heard. I feel like at the Senior Bowl, the way it was set up, it was like Monday I met with 16 teams straight, uh, 15 minutes apiece for four hours straight. Then Wednesday, same thing with the other half. It was kind of just introductory stuff, like background and where I'm from and all, all stuff like that. So it wasn't anything um, in, in particular. I will say the one thing is um, I was getting a lot, like I was hearing a lot. They thought I was going to run 4-5. So I guess that was just added motivation. Thanks, Afatu. Next we'll go to Jaron May from WAER. If I do, uh, so obviously your brother played in the NFL as well. How much have you talked with him about preparing for the draft in this entire process and kind of what have those conversations, um, how have they gone and, and kind of what wisdom has he passed along to you? Yeah, so, um, so he still plays. He actually signed with the 49ers about a month and a half ago. Uh, I, I, was, I mean, I talk to him almost every day. It's really just... Um, enjoy the process, uh, you know, have fun, be myself, um, you know, and don't take anything for granted because it could be taken away from you just like that. You know, he had some injuries that, um, you know, got him cut from some teams and he bounced around for a couple years. So don't, just don't take anything for granted, I guess. Thanks, Afatu. Next we'll go to Adam Hillman from the Daily Orange. Yeah, so uh, what type of, like, I guess I guess kind of my question is like, what led you to declaring for the NFL draft? Like, what type of feedback did you receive that that, that still left you confident that you know that being drafted was a possibility? Um, I feel like going in, I just wanted to going into the season. My mindset was, you know, I'm gonna play like this is my last year, and then at the end of the year, I'm gonna see like basically see what's up, um, see you know see what scouts are saying from different agents. Uh, I feel like I just had a really good year, a consistent year. I talked to my, my, my mom and my brothers, and um, they gave me some good advice. And also, I graduated, so that was a big uh, big part of the decision as well. Thanks, Afatu. Next, we'll go to Adam Mark, Mack. I'm sorry. Hey, Afatu, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Adam Mack from All About the Birds. Have you been in contact with the Eagles and a follow-up to that? Um, how would you feel about going to a team that's in about to start a rebuild over a team that's going to be competing for a Super Bowl? Okay. Uh, I'm, I mean, I've talked to the Eagles at um, at the Senior Bowl. I'm trying to think if I've talked to the Eagles uh, outside of that. There's been so many that it's kind of like it's kind of hard to um, remember exactly just because there's been a lot of teams I've talked to. Um, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind it. Doesn't. I'll be happy anywhere I go if it's a team that's rebuilding or if it's a team that's competing. 
Um, you know, obviously you would like to compete for a championship, but you know, if I go to a team that's rebuilding, then I would like to you know make an impact and speed up that process as well. Thanks, Afatu. Next, we'll go to Mateus Ornelas. Uh, Mateus Ornelas from Time Up Brazil. Yeah, congratulations for going for the NFL draft. Uh, you you talk about the Senior Bowl and how you're learning a lot, how you get a chance to talk to NFL coaches and other guys that play in the high level in the college. Uh, but going for the NFL, what do you think that you can be? What do you think you like can fit more? Like some people say you're like a, a good option for playing safety or slot corner. You're a guy who have a bunch of solo tackles, so maybe the slot corner is a good option for you. But what kind of role do you see you playing in the NFL? Like most comfortable for you? Um, I see myself coming in as a corner um, with the ability to play safety. Um, obviously, I have no problem playing safety if any team moves me there, I'll be happy to play there. Um, I feel like at uh, Syracuse, I kind of already knew what the safeties did. Um, like I played corner, but I knew what the safeties had responsibilities were. And, um, and with meetings, I've been getting, I kind of like quizzed on both. So I feel like mentally, I can definitely do it. And athletically, I could definitely do it. I just, um, I haven't actually been asked to do it because at Syracuse, obviously we had Cisco, we had Trail, but I'll, I'll be happy to do that if any team wants me to do that. Uh, yeah, I have no problem with it. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Afatu. Next, we'll go to Dan Tortora. Afatu, uh, it seems like yesterday I was talking to you on National Signing Day. What can you say about your time at Syracuse that you took away from it, and where have you developed the most, in your opinion, as you get set to make this jump to the NFL? I um, mean, Syracuse is obviously is a big – so the reason I'm here right now um, – where it's helped me, I feel like mentally, because I was always athletic, um, always very athletic. So just just mentally learning the game and um, you know how to how to study film and, and and different things like that, like football IQ and stuff. So I feel like that's that's where Syracuse has definitely helped me. Obviously, technique and you know the different coaches I had, but I feel like mentally helped me a lot. Thanks, Afatu. Next, we'll go to Jared from Pylon to Pylon Sports. Hi, Afatu. Uh, this is Jared Muller, Pylon to Pylon Sports and the Rise Up family. I just had a quick question about uh, cornerback evaluation. I believe there's a unfair stigma around the cornerback position when it comes to the interception stat. Do you believe that efficiency numbers should be weighed in way more than, say, an interception stat that I believe is more of a stat of opportunity? Um, yeah, I feel like I kind of I kind of know what you're saying. Um, obviously, um, you know, picks get you paid and everything, but I feel like as a cornerback, there's more. There's definitely more to that. Um, there's definitely more to picks. Some, you know, sometimes it, sometimes uh, picks is right place, right time. Sometimes you know, it really depends if you play a lot of zone. Your eyes are on the quarterback. Um, depends. It can depend on. Um, you know, your D-line getting pressure, making, you know, the quarterback make mistakes. Obviously, you have to be a ball player to get picks as well, but uh, I feel like I, I agree with you, what you're saying, and I, I get it, um, but also at the same time, picks do get you paid as well. Thank you for your time. Afatu, thank you. Uh, to the members of the media who have just joined, if you have a question for Afatu, please show your video so he knows with whom he's speaking. We'll next go to Akeem. Oh, I thought it was Yes. Hi, how you doing? How you doing, Afatu? Uh, I'm good, how are you? I came rich in his built in Buffalo. Uh, just a quick question for you. Uh, how would you describe your game uh, to, a, to a person that never saw you play before? I'm trying to get a gauge of uh, how you evaluate yourself as a player. Uh, so big, long corner, uh, very physical, but just, just an all-around, really all-around player, plays man well, plays zone well, and just and moves and moves very well for size. Um, moves the same as a dude that's 5'11 or a dude that's six feet. So I feel like the size is just an added plus. It's not like a, it's not a negative. Nice, nice. Thank you. Afatu, thank you very much. We'll go to Mookie Hawkins. I hope I said that right. 
Yep, you got that right. Mookie Hawkins, Buffalo Sports, 1080. Another fine one. What's good? How you doing, man? What's good? I'm, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Uh, you know, it's nice to know that you is right up the street in upstate New York. But how has your time in Syracuse prepared you for this moment? Uh, like I said earlier, I, th I feel like it, it's prepared me very well um, mentally. Uh, you know, I feel like I do very well in... Um, when the scouts ask me questions on coverages and everything, like I said, I know, I know what the corners doing, I know what the safeties doing, I even know what the linebackers doing. Like, so I pretty much know what everyone's doing on the field. So I feel like it's it's definitely helped me in that sense, and um, especially this last year with my new my new corners coach has helped me with my technique, technique especially off man, and um, so I feel like I've been Syracuse has prepared me well for this moment. And speaking of that moment, you got a team right down the street in the Buffalo Bills who's looking for a number two corner, and I'm quite sure that you've been speaking quite frequently with those guys. How well do you fit that scheme, and, and have you been in contact with the Bills? Uh, yeah, I, I've, I've talked to the Bills. I'm not sure uh, what scheme they exactly run, but I feel like I personally feel like I could fit in any scheme. Um, you know, 2018, 2019, we played here. We played a lot of man and cover three. And then this last season, we definitely played a lot of man, but we played a lot of cover two, cover uh, three, and cloud. So I feel like I played in a lot of played a lot of different coverages. So I feel like I can, you know, fit into any scheme, honestly. All right, big rangy with the intangibles to match, man. Hey, we wish you well. Thank Good you. I appreciate you. that. Thanks, Afatu. Next, we'll go to Peter Bukowski. Peter, you're muted. Yep, there you go. So you mentioned uh, the man coverage that you played and, and obviously big, long, physical corner you want to get up and press. How do you put together a plan when you're facing an opponent and, and sort of pick your spots or say, okay, this is how I want to treat him on this down or this receiver uh, likes to do this. How do you put together your plan when, when you get those matchups? Um, I, f I, have a, I have a real good routine. I do. Um, when I'm watching film up to the, leading up to the game. And uh, also our coaches, they do a, a press cut up, you know, this receiver versus press, this receiver versus, um, you know, versus off. So you got to look at that, but you also got to look at what you do well too. So you can't just, this corner did this, I have to do this, you know, play to your strengths as well. So I feel like that's, that's kind of how I gauge, uh, you know, how I'm going to go against the receiver. And just as a quick follow-up, just wanted to know if you had any uh, contact with the Packers and, and how those conversations have gone itself. So. Yeah, I've, I've had contact with the Packers. Um, I feel like the conversation went well. All, all my conversation with teams went, went really well. Like I said, I've talked to every single team uh, at the Senior Bowl. Um, uh, and I think I did a, like a, an evaluation for them, the Packers. So I think things are going well right now. Fatu, thank you. We have two more questions. Time for two more questions, and we'll go to Calvin Watkins. Uh, hi. Um, your thoughts on the Senior Bowl and how that kind of helped you through this process? It's like you had a really good Senior Bowl this year. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like uh, um, to follow up what I said earlier, the Senior Bowl was was a good experience. You know, competing against uh, dudes at the, the highest level and, and from college football. So I feel like. Uh, I actually got to go live against dudes. You know, some dudes are, they're they're doing work, but they're just, they're um they're just training right now. Not against, they're not in real football. So I had to, actually had the chance to be in real football. So I feel like that's that's definitely helped me. And I was going against real good competition and getting uh, NFL coaching as well. So I kind of know a little bit. Every team is different, but I kind of know what to expect going in. Cowboys have usually drafted a player from the Senior Bowl. I know you, you talked to them briefly. What were your thoughts about just meeting up with them? Oh, uh, yeah. So I, I like the Cowboys. I like the coaches. Um, you know, the, even the coach here, uh, he was running some of the DB drills, and he gave me some good advice and, you know, what to work on. So I look, I look forward to hearing from them again. If I too, thank you. Our last question today will be from Stephen Bailey from 247 Sports. Uh, I just wanted to check in. Do you have any times or measurements that you know from today? And if not, uh, you know how do you feel you you did? Uh, 
I feel like I did. I know I did well. Uh, I did really well, especially for my position and my size. Uh, my vert was a 41 and a half. Uh, my bra was 11.2. And then I ran, I ran in the uh, the four fours. You know, I mean, it was hand time, so so different scouts had me at different things. Um, I was, I heard four four four. I heard there was one scout at four three nine. There was one, um, you know, just mi really just mid four fours. Uh, they didn't really tell us the time for the L, and they didn't tell us time for the uh, which L is three cone, and they didn't really tell us the time for the um, short shuttle. Fatu, thank you very much for your time today. We wish you all the best as you continue your pursuit to the NFL. All right, thank you. I appreciate you guys. And to the members of the media, again, Tyler.